Hello everyone, you're rolling with the Shemmies here. We're having a beautiful, beautiful cream of broccoli soup made Shemmy style. I'll tell you what you guys, you're gonna love it. You wanna tune into this here, Johnny? Have a look here, you guys. Here we are. We got ham, bacon. Now that ham come off the smoker two nights ago and uh, buck that up. You can smell a little hint of that smoke in there, that hickory and apple wood, I'll tell you what. We got onion, bacon, and uh, good butter right there. And that's the start of it. What we're gonna do there, you guys, is we're gonna add some broccoli to that here. Fry that in there with that. And you just fry it for a little bit, get everything kind of coming together, working together, sauteing, get that caramelization going on the onions and, and everything uh, caramelized up a bit, the bacon and stuff like that. And then we're gonna add some uh, whole milk, a uh, shot of cream, and then I start thickening with some uh, blending flour. Easy blend, I think they call it. Mm. But it's fantastic, and the kids love it. Jo John, you love it too, don't you? Oh, love it. so good. Mm -hmm. So, that being said, I'm gonna stir and, and uh, rip and tear here, you guys, and come on back, and we'll uh, show you how we're gonna flange this sucker up. We're gonna do that with uh, toasted, uh, or sorry, grilled cheese and ham uh, sangies, and turkey Swiss sangies. And uh, you can dip, you can sip, you can eat, you can do whatever you're going to do. Just get at it with them sangies. Oh, so good with the soup. So here we're doing just a quick easy meal. I'm showing you guys how easy it is. Lots of salt, a little bit of butter, and uh, lots of bacon, lots of fat. It's good. Right on. Come on back. Quite a bit. Is that on? Yeah. Good call. Okay, I just want to show the folks at home there, John. Now, if you guys just have a quick look, we just added our broccoli to that onion, ham, bacon, and butter concoction there, as you can see. And if you look down here in the bottom of the pan, you see that nice brown, that nice brown kind of going. I'll try to show it to you real good there, as you can see in there. Well, that's that good caramelization. That's where all the flavor's at, you guys. You want to get all that happening with the onion, the ham, the bacon, and the butter helps that out. I'll tell you what, it's just great. Now, we're going to simmer this here for a little bit, get that broccoli melt and rendering down. And then we're going to add our chicken stock to that. I put a little shot of chicken stock in there. And uh, then we're going to go with the greens and the melts and all the good stuff, salt, pepper, uh, blend in some thickener, and we should be ready to rock and roll on that. So I'm going to start getting the sangies rolling shortly. Once I add the melt to that and I start doing the thickening and whisking, I'll have the sangies going on the side there. I make a beautiful turkey Swiss on rye. Right, John? I would love that. You're yes. going to love that. I know, a little grainy mustard in there if you want, but mm. uh, cranberry, no, no, no cranberry, but I like cranberry. Yeah. Uh, anyhow, see you soon. Okay, you just keep on stirring there, Shemmy Sheminar, right here for you. Keep stirring that, we're getting that down. We did use frozen broccoli today because we were busy. We did a lot of uh, fall cleaning and stuff, so I didn't have time to get down to the store and get some fresh broccoli and dice it all up. So I just hammer the frozen in there, it all works. It's all good, trust me. And uh, just get it in there, get it rendered down with the bacon and the ham there and the fats, and oh, look out, the screen broccoli's gonna be great. I just wanna show you lovely folks. Now, Joanna, one heck, one heck of a bun maker. She's the bun maker, the donut maker of Camarlo Park. And I'll tell you, she made these buns and oh, just a homemade smell. When, whenever you make, you know, when you get into the kitchen and you can smell the homemade bread, isn't that like, I is that it. not, like that's aromatherapy, like at its very best, I would have oh, to say. the peanut like, butter. Yeah, yeah, it's like, you know, driving by the, you know, the, the chicken joint on Friday afternoon when they're deep frying chicken, you get that smell, I'll tell you. It just, I put a pound on just smelling that, it's that good. But that's how the bread is, I love it. The fall, the cozy, the leaves are starting to go yellow. This is cozy. I'll be right back and keep on stirring there, kid. Uh, what did I need for Oh my God. Now, what we're gonna do is I take a little bit of chicken stock, as you can see, you can use the liquid stuff or whatever. We had some liquid stuff, but somebody had opened it and stuck it in the pantry instead of the fridge. So food safe 101. Keep refrigerated and it wasn't, so we're gonna play it safe. So I just add a little bit of this chicken stock like that, as you can see. That just gives it a little bit of flavor. It's gonna give it a little, make it pop a little bit, you know? And uh, so I stir that in, just like that. Now, you can do a roux where you butter and flour and do the whole works before you add everything and you add that all in as a cream soup, which I do do that at times. But this one I seem to do, uh, I just blend it with some Easy Blend, add my uh, whole melt to it, stir it all together, and I have, Everybody loves it, so we just we just stick to that, and uh, I'll tell you what, just fantastic, you guys. So this is pretty much ready for the stages. Like I said, we got our beautiful chicken stock in there. I can smell that. Mmm, mmm, love it, love it. Not as good as these buns, bacon, but it's close. So that being said, there's that round right there, you guys. Just kidding. Um, 
You should never do that. There we go. Right on. Now we're gonna start thickening that, you guys. I got a little bit of stuff here that I just blend in. Once it, once it warms up a little bit, things can break down. I get the whisk out and I just give it one of them. Cut the whisk right there. There's your whiskey for you. And uh, I will add a little bit of salt too, just with that milk going in and stuff. We give it a good little, little shot of salt. That's where flavor is. And let's do a little pouvoir, which is French for pepper. There we go. And I'm gonna show you guys another little thing I like to do. Johnny and you like it too. Is I get some chives, these freeze dried chives. Or I grow them in the backyard and I reuse the jar, but these ones, they're still growing in the backyard, so these are from the store, but they're good too. But it just gives it a little bit of a different flavor. And then, uh, well you ask John. John, it's good, isn't it? Mm, I like it. Now we have a little trick I'm gonna show you guys a little later on in the cook here. Once we get it thickened in a little bit, it's gonna help it thick up. We're gonna use some cream cheese. Not cream uh, white cheese, but like, uh, yeah, just like, uh, uh, I don't know, like a Velveeta. Cheese whiz kind of, boom. You can put a big tablespoon of cheese whiz in there or Velveeta and it just helps thicken it up. And uh, where I got that from was in a corn chowder? No, cor yeah, corn chowder. Uh, in the Cheminar recipe book from back back in Saskatchewan. They, uh, in the corn chowder, they put a couple tablespoons or whatever cheese whiz in there. And I started doing that about 10, 11 years ago. And I'll tell you what, everybody that comes and eats these types of soups of mine, they're like, what, what are you doing? And I just, uh, you know, well, a little bit of this, a little bit of that, it's so good. They're licking their chops at the front door the minute they walk in, and I hand them a bun and a spoon, a shot of whiskey, cold pop, whatever, and uh, they go to town on that, and they're like, what is in there? It's so good. So, what's going on, Shemmy? Oh, okay. So, Shemmy, come running in here. Were you looking for the cheese whiz? Yeah. Oh, okay. Right on. So, stay tuned here, guys. I'm going to blend this, stick in this. I'll show you here in a minute, but I'm going to get my sangies going because everybody's hungry. Everybody hungry in there watching our hockey game? Woo! Yeah, right on. Go. Oh, my team got knocked out the other night, but anyways, we'll see you guys soon. Come on, John. Okay, here we are. Folks, sorry, we run out of memory stick there, I'm back. And uh, <laughs> this one here, this is John Sangi, and this is going to be uh, turkey and Swiss, you guys. So, got our Swiss cheese right here, as you can see. Little Swiss, right there. Now my brother-in-law is from Switzerland and I'll tell you what, they know how, they know their cheeses. He does a fondue, I guess, we're going to do one at my sister's. And uh, I'll tell you, they know how to do it with the cheese, I'll tell you, they got that dialed right in. It's just perfect. Okay, now we're going to lay in some turkey. Remember I told you guys, cook the meat first because it always tastes good. I even do my pastrami sangies like this, you guys. Now get that turkey in there, you want to pile that in there. Now if it was me, I'd lay a little cranberry in there. Mm. Now, you know, what's, you know what, you guys, that's looking a little skimpy. You guys remember Ren, Ren and Skimpy? Or what was it called, no, Stimpy? Ren and Skimpy. No, Stimpy. Stimpy? I think it was. Let's just get a couple more slabs in there because that's how we do things around here with the chemis. Now, I'll tell you what, the chemis, lots of that in there. I'll tell you, you want flavor. Get into that turkey, look out. Little black povar just for color and flavor. Just like that, you guys. Ground mustard or no, Mama? A little bit. A little bit of ground mustard? Oh, just, you just go my heart. Okay, so. Oh, yeah, we're gonna do this here. Just a little bit, you don't need much, just a bit for some flavor. Oh, this is nice and hot, this pan. You wanna get that crisping up real nice. In that goes on top like that. Like I said, we got black povar. Do you guys know her? Flipper, flipper, oh. Flipper. <laughs> okay, flipper's a dolphin. Okay, now you guys just hang tough, hang tough. Oh, look at that. Sounds Even heavy. got a little bit of that burnt ham in there, I'll tell you what. So, that being said, guys, I wanted to show you guys a little something special here. That's that grilled cheese I made right there. Just have a look at the crispy. Have a look at the crispy. And then right in here, you guys, we've got the cheese just beautifully melted, steamy with mayo. Look at that grainy mustard in there, just sweating and doing its thing. <laughs> Blending in, making that mayo go a little bit yellow. I'm loving it. So I'm gonna just show you guys here real quick how Big Daddy does that. Give her one of those. Remember, guys, you can put ketchup in there. I'll tell you what. Delish. I won't steer you wrong. Okay, now, bear with me, guys. Mama needs a plate. Okay. Now, we didn't do it today, but while I got you guys on here, egg noodles go 110% in a cream of broccoli soup. 
wintertime, you're hungry, you're needing to take on some calories because you've been going hard all day. And uh, if you put some egg noodles in there, look out. But what I like to do, you guys, is I like to cook the egg noodles first, butter and salty, butter and salty, put them in a bowl, then people can add. They don't want eggy noodle, don't need eggy noodle. So it's whatever you want to do kind of a thing. Hey, Coco Jam. How goes the battle, Coco Jam? That's good, that a girl, that a girl. Okay, now I'm just gonna let that cool off for a second, you guys, and I'm gonna show you. Shemmy, you get out the soda crackers. Oh, Shemmy, you don't even know. Coco Shem, Coco Shem. We love that Coco Shem. Okay, there you are right there, you guys. Now you can put some crackers on that. A little bit of this, a little bit of that, I'll tell you. We already got quite a bit of salt in there because I always flavor good and I know what to do. Now a little trick a lot of people don't think about. Go easy on the salt because you can always add more but you can't take it away. Otherwise you're adding milk and you're juggling, you're throwing in a couple tablespoons of butter, try to water down that salt. Don't forget it. Now what I do here is John's homemade buns, bureau, lots of bureau, nice and thick. And then I just take that, just like so you guys, get your bun. Oh, best of all worlds, right there. Good idea. There you are. Black Pavar, there you go. Now you got your sangi, you got your sangi, just like so. Oh, man, you guys, I just love you. Guys, thanks so much for tuning in today. I know I rambled on quite a bit today. I had a great time. This is what I love about cooking like this. I'm not a pro. I just do things like you guys do at home. Wing them together, make them taste great. If I fail, I get back at it, I get back in the saddle. Where's that saddle? I'm so used to saying that because I've had so many wraps in the kitchen, but everything turns out good in the end. So, thank you so much. Beautiful turkey, stone ground mustard, Swiss cheese. There's a turkey rye right there for you, I'll tell you what. And we're gonna have a beautiful sit down with my beautiful family, I love my girls. Love Johnny, my beautiful wife. And uh, come hang with the Shemmies. Hit subscribe and like and hang out right on. Thanks guys.